click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is how basically an acetal has been formed because of an aldehyde and alcohol in acidic medium. So now we are going to discuss about that is what is the mechanism behind this process and now let us understand. So now in this lecture we are going to discuss about what is the mechanism behind formation of the acid. So now in this topic basically we are going to discuss about that is what is the mechanism behind the formation of an acetal. So the formation of an acetal is a basically two step process that I am going to explain. So let us talk about the first step and the first step is. Suppose if we have considered an aldehyde and obviously we understand that is aldehyde can be represented as R C H double bond O. So in this reaction basically we are considering the reaction in an acidic medium. So for that we are considering the acid like HCl. And we also understand that is the oxygen has basically two lone pair of electrons on it. So therefore we could also say that is the hydrogen which is basically a partially positive charge and the chlorine which is partially negative charge. Obviously in this case basically we could say that is the hydrogen it would acquire the negative oxygen atom. So therefore we could say that is the hydrogen will approach the negative oxygen atom and that is the reason an intermediate will be formed. So because you are talking about the mechanism so therefore we could find that is R C H and this one would be that is double bond O H but the valency of oxygen is always true but now because of here it will be 3 so therefore that would be an acquiring of a positive charge on the oxygen atom. Obviously it is a very unstable intermediate that we have formed over here so therefore According to the resonance, what we'll get is we'll get a stable product, and that is compared to this one, that is R C H O H, and here it would acquire a positive charge. So this is what we have formed an intermediate. So this carbocation that has been formed over here, obviously that will be reacted with the first alcohol. Obviously we understand that it reacts with the alcohol, so so as to form the acetal. So that is the reason that we are introducing the alcohol and the alcohol can be represented as that is R O H and since the carbon which acquires a positive charge obviously to neutralize that the oxygen it will attach to this one so we could say that is the oxygen will attach to this carbon atom over here and the product that will form over here I am writing the product over here that is it will be nothing but R C H here it will be O H while this one would be I am representing with the blue ink so therefore this one would be O R H and obviously this oxygen as you could see over here it is the one which has three valency or it has the one which is forming a three bond so this oxygen atoms are basically unstable so that is the reason that there will be acquiring of a positive charge over here but again this is not a stable product that we could get obviously then for that what we can do is here the electron pair between the oxygen and hydrogen it will be transferred on the oxygen atom over here and that is how basically the H plus ion it will be removed. So the product that will be formed over here it will be R C H here it is OH and here it will be O along with that of that is H plus. So this reaction is nothing but an acid catalyzed reaction or the step one that we have discussed about. But the product that has been formed in the first step is not an acetal. In fact it is half acetal. So that's the reason that this product that has been formed over here it is known as hemiacetal. The word hemi it comes from Greek word and hemi means half. So therefore it is a half acetal. So what we have to do is we have to form an acid. So obviously we are going to discuss about the second step and the second step is. So talking about the second step that is step 2 I am discussing about. So in step 1 we have got the product that is the hemiacetal that is R C H. Here it will be suppose if I am considering that O R while this one it would be suppose O H. And obviously the byproduct that we have got is H plus that is an acid catalyst. So we could represent it over here as 
so obviously that is this h plus obviously it will try to acquire a negative atom or a more electronegative atom so that is how basically we could say that is this h plus will approach this oxygen atom over here and that is how basically we could get a complex that is r c h this is o r while this is o h that is been present over here and this is the hydrogen atom but here we could see that is the oxygen it is acquiring three valency so therefore there will be a positive charge on this oxygen atom but this kind of oxygen atom which will which has three valency obviously they are very unstable so that is the reason that this will acquire the electron pair between the carbon and oxygen so that is how obviously we could say that is the water it would be eliminated or it would be removed so that's the reason that we have mentioned here as minus h2o and the product that has been formed over here is i'm writing over here and that is r c h this is or while this is the carbon that will acquire a positive charge so we have used only first alcohol till yet and now we are using the second alcohol and for that what we are going to do is we are mentioning the second alcohol with this green ink that is it could be represented as r o h and obviously we understand that is the oxygen which is partially it will acquire a partially negative charge so therefore this partially negative charge oxygen atom it will try to acquire on the carbocation that has been formed over here and that is the reason that the product that we could get is r c h o r and here it will be that is oxygen atom because through oxygen atom the bond will be attached to carbon atom so that's the reason that this would be, would be o r and let me represent it with the green ink so that we could differentiate this one and this is nothing but the h again here that is the oxygen will acquire a positive charge so for that the only one thing that we can do is we can eliminate or we can remove this hydrogen atom so once this hydrogen atom is been removed in the form of a proton so therefore the main product that we will get over here r c h o r and this one would be o r along with that of the removal of a proton so this is how we can form acetyl so this is the reaction that i was discussing about and this is how the mechanism of the formation of acetyl is and talking about the next one that is this h plus ion this h plus ion it could be used by the other alcohol also and this is how basically the h plus ion can be removed so this was a mechanism related to the formation of acetyl and while talking about the ketal formation or the mechanism of ketal formation it is also a very easy thing that is the only one thing that we have to do is we have to replace this h with an alkyl group and that is how the rest of the thing it would be the same and that would be nothing but the mechanism of formation of a ketone so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video this is what i want to talk about and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much